Okay class, today we are doing 5.5 which is the double angle and power reducing formula. So you should have the identity sheets and your unit circle handy for today's class. Okay, so here is our first problem. So we are given cosine and some number which is not on the unit circle. So we know that we need to draw a right triangle and we are told that our u is between pi over 2 and pi. So we're going to draw our triangle in quadrant 2. And we're asked to find tangent of 2u. So to do that we are going to look at the double angle formulas down here where we see tangent of 2u. Okay, so let's draw that triangle in quadrant 2. So it is a right triangle, and our angle u is here, and cosine u from the slope of tau y, c sine a, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So my adjacent is 2, my hypotenuse is 7, and it's a negative 2, 7, so we can write that too, it is a negative 2, and our hypotenuse is 7, so it's always a positive 7. So we're going to find tangent of 2u, so we're going to use the double angle formula, tangent of 2u is 2 tangent of u over 1 minus tangent squared of u. So we're going to need to find tangent of u, so here is our u, tangent using Sokotoa is toa. Tangent is opposite of adjacent, so we need to find the opposite side. So to find the opposite side, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So opposite squared plus minus 2 squared is 7 squared. Or opposite squared is 49 minus 4, which is 45. So the opposite, taking the square root of 45. Remember, square root of 45 is square root of 9 times square root of 5, which is 3 root 5. So my opposite side is 3 square root 5. <coughs> so now we're going to plug it into the formula, and what I'm going to do is rewrite tangent squared of u. Remember that this is tangent um, squared is tangent of u squared. So when you see the little squared, means squared. So here you need to be really clear of what is um, 2u versus tangent squared of u. So be very clear of what's a little exponent and what's a big coefficient. So exaggerate it if you have to. Okay, so now that I rewrote it, um, I'm just going to plug in tangent here and tangent here. And tangent is toa, which is opposite over adjacent. So this is 2 times tangent, which is opposite 3 root 5 over adjacent, which is minus 2 over 1 minus that thing squared, and I'm just going to simplify. Multiplying, my 2's cancel, so I'm left in the numerator, negative 3 root 5 is everything I have in the numerator, and in the denominator, I have 1 minus, um, I've got to write down my squared, so remember it was tangent squared there, so this is a tangent squared. I added my squared that I forgot. So it's squared, so I need to square the 3, square the root 5, and square the negative 2. So you need to square every little piece. So it's 1 minus, so 3 squared is 9, times square root of 5 squared, which is 5, all over negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. So I'm going to multiply the top. So this is negative 3 root 5 on the top. And in the bottom, I have 1 minus 45 over 4. So I need to simplify in the bottom, so I need a common denominator. So I'm going to change 1 to a common denominator. So I'm going to write 1 as 4 over 4. So this is 4 over 4. And I'm going to combine it. So this becomes negative 3 root 5 in the numerator. And in the denominator, I have negative 41 over 4. And when I want to divide by a fraction, I can multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative 3 root 5 times 4 over negative 41. So the negatives cancel going down, and I end up with 3 times 4 is 12 root 5 over 41. 
remember the negative over the negative made it positive. And the 12 and the 41 do not reduce at all because 41 is a prime number. And that is problem number one. Okay, so we're going to verify the identity here. And we have an exponent to the fourth, and we need to get down to a double angle. So when you see a double angle, you need to think, do I use the double angle formula? Or, since now we have a power, do we use the power reducing formula? Um, and if you look at the power reducing formulas, they're true for sine squared. Um, we have the power reducing formulas here. And the power reducing takes a power and reduces it down to a trig function without an exponent but with a double angle, which is ultimately what we want to do. So I do want you to recognize the power reducing formulas. I do also need you to recognize at this point that this is a difference of squares. Um, so it is going to factor. This factors as cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x times cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x. And looking at your Pythagorean identities, you should see that this bit on the right is just this identity here, and that equals 1. So what I'm left with is just this other bit, which is cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. And we want cosine of 2x, and if you look at the double angle formulas, both the sine squared and the cosine squared give you cosine of 2x, which is ultimately what we're going to want. So I'm going to replace it. So cosine of squared of x is 1 plus cosine 2x, so it's 1 plus cosine of 2x. And be very careful of an exponent of 2 versus a big 2. All over 2 minus 1 minus cosine of 2x all over 2. Remember, we're subtracting all of that. And since they have the same common denominator, we can combine it into one fraction. But remember, this negative is going to have to be distributed. And I see errors there. So be very careful with the negatives. So it's 1 plus cosine of 2x minus that whole numerator on the right-hand fraction. And all of that is over 2. And so I need to distribute all of that. So it's 1 minus 1, which goes away. You know, cosine of 2x minus a negative 2x. Um, so it's a 1 plus another 1. So I have 2 of those. 2 cosine of 2x all over 2. So the 1 minus 1 canceled. And cosine of 2x, and then the negative times the negative becomes a positive. So I have 1 cosine of 2x and 1 cosine of 2x, which is 2 cosine of 2x. And of course, the 2's cancel, and we're left with cosine of 2x, which is, of course, what we wanted. And that was problem number 2. So moving on, here is problem number 3. And we're going to solve this. We're going to find all solutions of the equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, which means just on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi. So we're just going to go around the unit circle. We want to solve this. So for this problem, um, I want you to look at if you have a sine x, a cosine x, you, you do see that somewhere in your um, double angle formulas with a coefficient of a 2 in front, and you can replace it that way. Um, so that is one thing that you can see. So if you see the trig functions next to each other, you need to be able to recognize them both ways. So 4 is, of course, 2 times 2, and then the sine of x, cosine of x. And I'm going to solve this. So I have the 2 sine x, cosine x, which I'm going to replace with sine of 2u. So this is 2 times sine of 2x my variable equals 1. Divide both sides by 2. Sine of 2x equals 1. And so now I'm going to, sorry, 1 half. I divided by 2. Get 1 half. So I'm going to look at the unit circle, and sine is the y coordinate on the unit circle. So you should pause it and pull out your unit circle if you don't have one in front of you. Um, sine of 2x is 1 half. So I want to know what angle so my 2x, what angle ekes it when the y coordinate is 1 half, which means you went up a little bit here. So I went up 1 half, so that's my pi over 6 angle. And it's also positive 1 half over here at 5 pi over 6. So I have two angles, 
pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Those are the two angles. Remember, sine is the y coordinate and it's negative in the other two quadrants. This is the two places where sine is a positive one half. So I'm solving for x, so I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by one half. So I end up with x equals uh, pi over 6 times one half becomes pi over 12 and likewise 5 pi over 12. Now, <coughs> I want all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. This is two of the solutions. If we this 2x tells us we need to go around the unit circle two times to make sure we get all of our solutions. So I'm going to find the angles coterminal to pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So if I go around the circle one full time, which is 12 pi over 6 plus one more, that's 13 pi over 6. 13 pi over 6. And then also if I go all the way around, which is 12 pi over 6 plus 5 pi over 6 more, is 17 pi over 6. You really need to understand the coterminal angles there. And then again, multiply one half by both sides and I get 13 pi over 12 and 17 pi over 12. And 13 pi over 12 and 17 pi over 12 are numbers smaller than 2 pi. Because remember, 2 pi is one full turn around the circle, which is um, in terms of 12, it's 24 pi over 12. So those also um, are x values angles that are between 0 and 2 pi. So these would be all of our solutions. So you need to remember when you have 2x and you're solving for the angles, you might have to go around the circle multiple times. So we had to go around two times because we had a 2x. And um, that is problem number three. So we are done with the first half of section 5.5 on the multiple angle formulas. Um, so have a good night.